quick update to a previous story. Am I the a-hole for telling my ex-wife's fiancé the truth about our divorce? I really didn't expect to give an update because I assumed I'd never hear anything from my ex-wife or her fiancé again in the first post. Last night, I received a very long text from my ex-wife. I'll summarize it below because it was long and did not have personal details. She started by apologizing for the way she talked to me the other day and said I didn't deserve to be insulted like that. No, you didn't. She then went on to explain herself and her situation. She started by acknowledging that this whole situation wasn't my concern or business and apologized for being drawn into it. And she said she was embarrassed that their issues were being aired out. She said it was her fault this happened. Oh, are we perhaps flirting with accountability? She since said that dating her fiance, she has hidden the details of our marriage out of shame and guilt. For the most part, it was never brought up until he proposed a couple of months ago. That's when he finally really asked and seemed to want to know. She said she wasn't ready to deal with that and kept trying to sweep it under the rug, but he persisted. This is when she started therapy. So apparently, she only had a few therapy sessions and they were all recent. She never thought he would reach out to me. Okay, let me translate that. He proposed and she thought, I have this guy and he's now my emotional biatch. Now, she was in control of the narrative and would never be held accountable. She then stated that none of this was my fault and apologized for blaming me. She said she should have faced this a long time ago and gotten therapy for ruining our marriage and come to terms with her feelings of guilt. Then she apologized for the affairs and the way I was treated during our marriage. Very well, there was some of the long-awaited accountability. Years late and several dollars short, however, I freely give her kudos for that. The last part was just her stating that she was not expecting me to respond back and wished me the best, and saying that hopefully her and her fiancé will never bother me again. Guys, when a woman says she was not expecting a response back, usually that is a manipulation tactic and she is hoping you will respond back. This morning when I got up, I read this and I sent a brief message back. I appreciate the apologies and I'm glad you are working on yourself. I have moved on from what happened and I hope you can move on from this. The only bit of advice I have is I think this text needs to go to your fiance. She responded back by saying thank you and that he has received far more and far longer texts. Frankly, I would tell her fiance to run for the hills, cut his losses, and eject, eject, eject. I doubt there will ever be another update. I actually hope there isn't. I don't believe in closure, but I will say it was refreshing to hear her apologize without an asterisk. That's what I always got before, the I'm so sorry, I just drank too much, and I'm so sorry, I was just really depressed and stressed. 
doesn't mean a whole lot really, maybe just unexpected for me. But it was nice to hear an apology that has no excuse trailing behind it. Well, actually, she did give you an excuse trailing behind it earlier. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day now and leave this all behind me. If you found value in this video, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least three friends who really need to learn from my channel. If you didn't like this video, then I thank you for watching this long and stopping by. I suggest you check out my other videos and find something you do like. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link, email it to stories at magicsmonologue.com. This way others can learn from your victories, joys, and defeats as we work to not only support each other, but to help each other become better men. This is the best way to help this channel grow and support me. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys, check out my memes, and please subscribe to my local Rumber, Twitter, Getter, or Gab. In doing so, you are certainly helping to educate other men and have the best revenge by living well. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off, check out these other videos, give them a thumbs up, a comment, share, which helps me go on to create more content for you to enjoy.